So it's going to be um, fun to show the different steps and stages that have been taking place here. As you'll recall, in our last video, we did a drawing and we transfer, transferred the drawing to our plate. Here's our <laughs> orientation. Here's our plate. So now we've got the plate and we're going to do our first uh, proof. And this is going to be just a very simple swipe over the surface so that we can see how we like what's going on so far. So I'm inking my plate. As I simply put, it's like a, a stripe of toothpaste amount onto the plexiglass sheet. And that gives us enough ink to do our first run of the print. Get a sense of how the design is unfolding. So this is our uh, continuation of the idea of what to do when we make a mistake. And as, a, as a creative person, we don't get disturbed. We don't feel as if everything is lost. We actually use the mistake as a springboard. So in the first video in this little what to do when we make a mistake theme, we looked at redesigning our project so that we could go forward. And this works with whatever the project is. It does not have to be uh, a visual art project. It can be a choreography, it can be a writing project, it can be a menu, it doesn't really matter. Now this ink is old, but it's water-based. So I'm using it for my first uh, proof. And all I did is ink the plate. Now I'm placing my paper over top of the plate. Again, it's a proof. So I'm not giving myself any kind of fits about how I'm working with it. I'm just using a simple grayer. Um, I'm barren. And I'm just going to go over. Now, it's not going to be the best inking. Again, you know, we're looking at being experimental and working in our studio with things not going exactly the way we wish they had gone and making them work. So we're going to see by the end of this little process, we have a really beautiful project. And we're going to be able to make a very healthy run of our uh, print. So we pull the paper back. Again, the ink is not going to be the best coverage because it's older ink and it's water based. And I'm just doing it to get a sense. But I, I already like the fact that it's like this indigo color. And so there's our first run of the print, our first proof of the print. From this, I'm going to be able to look at all of my details to um, you know, find areas that I know could be more defined, to add my details in the background, to sharpen lines up, and to even fill lines in where I'm not appreciating the way that they're falling onto the print and completely redesign and redo them. But for the most part, so far, so good. And we'll go forward. So I look forward to seeing you in our next uh, installment of working with our printmaking process and